One of my favorite procrastination methods has always been waiting for a fresh start. Typically that's been New Year's Eve, my birthday, or any other grand event that promises a new improved version of myself and of my life. But it's also been things like getting a new journal because you obviously cannot continue using the same journal that you've been using this year into next year even though it's only half filled. And on days that I promise myself that I, for example, will not eat sweets, having one small piece of chocolate has made me go, oh, well, I guess I'll just have the entire bag and I'll just try again tomorrow. I would notoriously do this in school too, telling myself that I would start studying at 3 p.m. and even a minute past 3 p.m. and I would be like, guess I missed it, I will just start at 4 instead. It's as if I would lose all my motivation as soon as I felt like I had failed to live up to the expectations that I've set for myself. But eventually I just got tired, tired of swapping out notebooks and boyfriends in my pursuit of this fresh start feeling. Because as much as we can wait for tomorrow and swap things out and move across the world, wherever you go, there you are. But sometimes we do need a little help, like a metaphorical fresh start, something to give us a bit of an energy boost. And here are some of the things that I like to do to get that same sort of feeling. Morning coffee or tea or really any sort of beverage of choice throughout the day. My morning coffee signals to me that the day is getting started. In the afternoon, I like having a matcha or a tea and it's just a way for me to get up take a small break and do something different for a few minutes and then go back to whatever I was doing. Walks, especially in nature. When I get back home after a walk, I always feel renewed. I've been walking a lot more frequently since I got Fred, my dog, and now that I've gotten so used to it, I can't even really fathom how there were days where I would stay in all day without going outside. No wonder I would feel like one big mush sometimes. Always let part of yourself live in a book. I'm always reading something. Even if I take a break from a book and don't look at it for a few weeks, part of me is still invested in it, perhaps subconsciously. I almost think of my life as different eras of which I have read certain books, which means that every time I pick up a new one or finish one, it's like the beginning or end of a chapter in my own life, in a way. So honestly, if you take anything away from this video, let it be that. And also, consuming books has never been easier Take a look at this and I'll also tell you about my favorite book of this year. What is the bravest thing you've ever said? Asked the boy. Help, said the horse. Asking for help is not giving up, said the horse. It's refusing to give up. It's so perfect that we have Audible as our sponsor today because this book, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse is my favorite book of this year. I just feel like the world as a whole this last year and these last couple of years actually have been quite turbulent to say the least and a book like this was for me personally exactly what I needed right now. It was so simple yet filled with bits of wisdom on love and friendship and kindness. Now if you end up getting this book, I highly recommend getting it as an audiobook because in the physical one there are a lot of illustrations which you obviously don't get with the audio version but it ends up working out so beautifully as the author instead explains the surroundings and I find that to be so much more captivating. Audible just makes it so easy to always have some sort of audio entertainment on the go and they have an incredible selection of audiobooks across every every genre, everything from business to memoirs and so much more. I just plug in my headphones and I'm sucked into any world of choice. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from their entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. And members also get full access to a growing selection of included audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. Let Audible help you discover new ways to laugh, be inspired, or be entertained. New members can try Audible for free for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash Lana Blakely or text Lana Blakely to 500 500. Showering. Midday showers are underrated and I'm not a huge fan of them personally, but sometimes a random shower at like 2 p.m. is exactly what I need to get that fresh start feeling and it works. Once I'm done and out, it almost feels like an entirely new day. A clean space. My brain doesn't properly function in messy spaces, honestly. So sometimes when I feel that my energy levels are dropping, I will get up and I will start cleaning. And even though it's physical, to me, it makes me feel like I've also gained some mental space. Brain dumping. 
You all know that I swear by journaling at any hour of any day, simply writing down a few thoughts or feelings very much gives me that feeling of newness. Washing my face. Have you honestly ever just tried splashing your face with some cold water and then suddenly you feel this new wave of energy and motivation to take on the day? I have. Changing my online environment. I pretty recently unfollowed everyone on Instagram, except for Fred. Even though I liked many of the accounts that I was following, my brain doesn't feel as clogged. There are no stories to watch, just you guys' messages, and I love that. Looking nice. I'm a big fan of random outfit changes throughout the day for no apparent reason. I don't know what it is, but changing into a different outfit, even though I don't actually need to, it just gives me a new energy is the best way that I can explain it. And on that note, brushing my teeth at a random time in the day. I don't know, it just gives me that same feeling. Change your ringtone once in a while, especially if you're going through a big change like a breakup. You don't need to cut all of your hair off, just change your ringtone. Change your phone wallpaper once in a while. Change your alarm clock tune once in a while. I recently did this, I don't think I'd ever really done that before, and I feel like I entered a new chapter in my life. Clean out your email, it's one of the most fresh stardew feelings there is, in my opinion. Let fresh in air as often as you can. I keep my windows open throughout the year, even during winter time. Not all the time, obviously, but as often as I can before it gets too cold. But even just leaving them open for 10 minutes is enough for me to feel refreshed. A glass of water. I think of it like this. I am soil, and throughout the day, I start getting dry and kind of dull because, well, life and energy levels and responsibilities and whatnot. And drinking a glass of water is like watering myself. Again, it's a small energy boost. Cuddle breaks. We need breaks. I take one at least every hour to cuddle Fred. And it brightens my day, it fills me with happy hormones, and it re-energizes me, realizing I'm talking a lot about energy in this video. Nothing makes me feel as refreshed as a dose of love. And I have a feeling I'm not alone in that. <laughs>